job today. So these windows are going to be up above our cabinets. We have an entertainment cabinet that comes out here and runs straight across into our kitchen cabinets. Then we move on down the hallway. We have plenty light coming in through our windows and our skylights. Finally, putting our roof rails onto the roof. While we were working on installing our windows, we were also itching to complete the job of putting our rails up on the roof. We installed bolts into our bus roof beams a few months ago, and if you've been watching our channel, you know what happened next. If you're looking for more details on our roof rail system, we'll include a link over to the blog post that has all the details and hardware that we used. figure out how to use these Unistrut connectors now. Hmm. Might be missing bolts. <laughs> missing some bolts? Yeah. I thought this Unistrut connection system came with these nuts, a top, and bolts but it doesn't look like they do. It's like we're gonna be going to the hardware store. <laughs> You're gonna get a butt shot. <laughs> Are you holding the ladder? That's why I want you there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we didn't have to go to the hardware store. We went to the hardware store of dad's garage. <laughs> and amazingly, we found... 12 bolts that fit. So now we just gotta put them on. It's such a nice day. Yeah, it's, it's a fall, comfortable day. Not How many more days hot. like this do you think we've got? I'm hoping three weeks. Three weeks, wow, you're pretty optimistic. <laughs> yes, I am. All right. Now I just gotta fasten all the nuts down. A much less stressful day than cutting holes into your roof. Don't speak yet, we still got more things to do. We're not cutting any holes in the roof today. Tomorrow, on the other hand, we plan to cut oh. holes in the wall. Yeah, tomorrow we're planning on trying to get our windows started, which means we've got big holes in our siding. What could possibly go wrong? Roof rails, check. Day one of putting our windows in went pretty smooth. So of course, day two, <laughs> Not as smooth. Uh, we only got two windows done and we went through two hole saws. So I went to the store and invested in this carbide tip. It's a little more expensive. These are 40 bucks each. So I'm really hoping we can get two, maybe four windows out of this. I um, hate to spend 40 bucks per window. I'm gonna go ahead and make marks for the pilot holes and we'll come out see how many windows we can get done today. All right, wish me luck with this guy. Just don't get it, it's not uh, cutting like the other one was. The new hole saw worked okay. It didn't seem as effective, really. Then we had a problem with this, the locking mechanism on it. And I don't know if you want to know any details of that. <laughs> so we ended up getting the hole cut out for 
the back bedroom window, which is pretty exciting. Maybe I'm just weak, <laughs> but it's exhausting. Oh, it's cacophonous. Then we were able to get it cut, do a little bit of grinding, and get it leveled out, test to see if the window would fit in. This window, it seems to just be a really, really tight fit. Um, and I think what we were noticing with the weather's up and down, being really cold, and other days it's nice and sunny, and that's just kind of what fall is like here. So I think the changing temperature, you know, the metal can expand and contract, perhaps. Okay. Finally, we got it to work. And then mount it with lots of Sika Flex in. Screw it in place. Don was worried about this window because it was a snug fit for the most part, but one corner felt like a little too big at the bottom of the corner. So he went a little crazy with the Sika Flex. There is so much Sika Flex on this one. We've learned that there's no such thing as too much sealant. Learn. Too much Cicoflex is better than not enough, right? <laughs> Valuable lesson in bus 101. I'm trying to get as much Cicoflex as I can on you, Mel. I appreciate that. Yep. <laughs> Make me feel like I did something. <laughs> Second window of the day. It's hopefully a little, a little smoother. The carbide tips were gone. It was not going to cut anymore. We opted to use an old five inch that we had laying around, but we had, did have to make new pilot holes. And then we accidentally cut a hole in the wrong window place for a pilot hole. <laughs> Which is fine because uh, another window will go in there. It's not a hole in a place that you don't need a hole. That yeah. would be worse. <laughs> Top pieces are always hard to get. <laughs> oh, it lets in a nice breeze. While we were grinding, there was a small miscalculation. Oh, no. What kind? There's a little bit of some metal in the window now. So while Don was on that side, grinding away at some metal, some sparks flew over to this side to our windows we put in yesterday. And unfortunately, this wasn't up. And little shards of metal have gone into the glass. Uh, I mean, I don't know how bad it'll look. I notice it. I notice things like that. I'm pretty upset about it. It's never happened before. We've been grinding metal and in here a bunch and the windows have been fine. Nothing has ever happened to them. And then this one, we got the window to fit. However, there was a little bit of gap against one of the beams. So I had to be a little creative and do some measuring. I think it'll be okay. I think it's gonna seal and I can screw here and I can screw. Maybe from here, this has the worst place and it yeah. is the biggest gap. Yeah. And then another weird thing happened. Oh, I was putting oh, on yeah. super <laughs> extra thick Sika Flex. This one, the tube, the Sika Flex, half of it was black and then it turned white. What? So we're hoping that it's still the same sticky Sika Flex material and that maybe it's just a white because they do it make it in, in black white. and white. Yeah. So it's probably the same stuff. I hope so. Whoa. 
What happened? I'm afraid to ask. You want to go look inside? Got it. And somehow I messed up my measurements. It's not like that's ever happened before. <laughs> we missed the beam. So we decided to go ahead and put a couple rivets in to make sure that it was sealed. Even though it's missing the beam, the frame of the window is attaching to our 16 gauge sheet metal. I wouldn't want that to be its structural hold, but we do have about 10 other screws in it that are yeah. in the beam in place, but we just missed a couple because of that little gap. I think it's okay because the front edge driver's side edge is sealed in really tightly. Other than almost ruining one of our windows, mm -hmm. it was an okay day. Yeah, it was all right. Yep. And tomorrow we can't do windows, so I think we'll just do something fun, something good for our souls. Oh yeah. Today we thought we would just do a little creative project for fun that we have an idea for for a few different things, a few different places in the bus. There were lots of dead trees that had to get cut down in this area because we now got our bus over there and our tent over here and there was a bunch of dead trees in this area so Don's dad decided he'd take them down, make sure nothing fell on the tent or the bus as we move into winter and it, we might get some big storms. So there is so much wood. See a bunch over there, there's a bunch over there. There's just so much wood available to use. So we were thinking, well, how can we use these smaller bits of wood? And we have an idea. Some of these little ones are really cute. There's like a, looks almost like a face with two eyes. This one's kind of neat too. It's got a like teardrop sort of look to it. And tiny little ones. That one's really neat. My mom's utensils and stuff. You'll have to just stay tuned and we'll show you what we're going to do. Zuri wanted to see the progress in the bus. The ground is full of little metal shavings and not safe for little kitties right now, so she's getting the uh, grand tour in my arms. She's purring like crazy, so. Back on the window job today, our plan is to put in two more windows. So we have another one going in right over there. And then we have another one that's gonna go in on the other side, about there on the bus. And then next thing we gotta do is decide what to do with the window we damaged. You have to account for mistakes in bulbs, especially if you're DIYing. We keep it really real. I mean, we could also edit these out and just show you the end product and look what we did. It's very easy to edit out uh, mistakes and just not show you that stuff. But we figure this is this is a sharing thing. We should be sharing so other people can learn um, because that's how we've learned from YouTube videos. And so we share our mistakes, we share it all. But if you were planning to do your own conversion, just know that you will make all of your own mistakes. All right, are we ready to make the magic happen? We ended up using the same five inch hole saw that we've had for the last week because it's still cutting, amazingly. One of the big changes of the way we work today is instead of using one hole just for the corner, we did two holes with the hole saw. That made it so it was easy for us to put two holes in, get that curve started, but more importantly, so that where it was cut already in the sheet metal, we could grab our sawzall and cut straight up the beam with very little problems, although it is so tiring holding that thing, <laughs> shaking you around. The Seeker Flex all came out black today. Bonus. <laughs> <laughs> I 
No mystery color. Rainbow Sika Flux. Good job today. <sighs> today, two windows in. Pretty smooth day, don't you think? So these windows are going to be up above our cabinets. We have our entertainment cabinet that comes out here and runs straight across into our kitchen cabinet so that while we're standing at these cabinets we can look out and have a wonderful view. Plus, um, they do open and we do have screens, they're just not in right now, but we can open them up to get airflow. This is the only window we haven't put in and we're not doing it today because we think we might change our plans with it. But it's going to be above our couch. It'll also slide open so we can get the cross airflow going across the bus. Plus, good views for me when I'm traveling, sitting here while Don's driving. Then over here we can have a little fold down table that will serve as like our place to eat, our dinner table, and a place that you can sit and work on your laptop. The other neat thing about it, so we have windows right in front of our view while we're sitting at it, but we also like that we can just pull these slides up and pass things outside. Then we move on down the hallway. Original bus window left in. This is basically in the bathroom, so nobody can see in through these windows at all, but it does let light in to this room because other than the skylight, there's no window on the other side because the shower's there. Into the bedroom, we have a window here that we can easily open. Again, it will also have a screen in it for airflow. You kept this big window in so that we can lie in bed and have a wonderful view. And of course, we have air coming in on one side, we wanna make sure it can flow through to the other side. So we did manage to squeeze in a little window on this side that we can also open up for some airflow. Even though we've taken out a lot of those big windows, we have plenty light coming in through our windows and our skylights. And then we had some decision making to do. You've heard us talk about the one side where the window would have to be turned upside down to work, so to make it a curbside window because it's actually a roadside window. And we're just feeling a little bit uncomfortable about it, turning it upside down because it's an emergency exit. Even if we made weep holes at the bottom and closed them up at the top, we're just uncomfortable at the fact that it's an emergency window and it does open this way and will that cause leaks or problems or issues. So we've been feeling iffy about it. And then we had our oops yesterday where some shards, while Don was uh, grinding off some metal, some shards of metal, went into that window. But we have a backup plan. The upside down window is exactly the same as the window that we had our hoops on. <laughs> so we could very easily remove that hinge of the window, pull it out of the emergency exit frame, which would still be secured into the bus, and then just attach that inside frame window because they are exactly the same window. That might be the solution, but we're gonna hold off on it. Um, we got other things we can make progress with, yeah. so we're gonna try to move forward we'll with other things. Live with it for a little while and decide if we wanna switch out the window, we can. If we don't feel like it's necessary, we won't. But that does mean that we have to find a new window to go on the curbside. Which may mean we need to take a road trip. We either take a road trip and spend a whole day going out to find a window the exact same size as the frame that Don made, or we just buy a slightly different sized one online. I guess you'll find out what we decide After in a future episode. When we find <laughs> out. <laughs> we don't know yet what we're going to do. Oh, shots of metal oh, on you. Be careful. We got to... Right, it's cleanup time. <laughs> Mel is going to clean up these shards of metal that are all over the bus. Unbelievable how much shards of metal there are. As we learned from my mistake ruining that window. You guys, I got a surprise for Mel. It's 1.1 cubic feet, this one. This so, one is? Yeah. So 1.2 is fine because you can put like a 
chicken in there, right? Why are you filming me? <laughs> What'd you spend the morning doing? Um, shopping online. <laughs> Looking for appliances? Yeah. Okay. I got a surprise for you. Okay. Come on upstairs. Did you buy appliances already? No, I got a surprise for you. You got a surprise for me? Yep. It's huge. What is it? Is it a vanity? Oh. <laughs> but we'll share that with you next time. Oh no. <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> Because driving with the bus this way, <laughs> things go this way. <laughs> it's, a it's, a it's a terrible example. Mm -hmm.